Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Debating on whether I should rename my channel to the battery channel. <laughs> uh, we'll get to some engines eventually. Anyways, my son brought me this battery down to check out. It's a 12.8 volt, 16 ampere hour lithium iron phosphate. 204.8 watt hours. Uh, power make dreams possible. That sounds like a political statement to me, but oh well. So, might have to get my specs out here. It says, uh, capacity 16 ampere hours, energy 204.8 watt hours, charge voltage 14.6 max, charge current 16 amps. Uh, discharge cutoff voltage 10, maximum continuous discharge current 16 amps, 32 amps for 3 seconds. Charge temperature 32 to 131. Discharge temperature minus 4 to 131. Storage temp temperature 50 to 86. Okay, so they can be series connected to 48 volts and parallel connected to 64 ampere hours. Get a little brochure. Weighs 4.3 pounds. Uh, smart VMS built in, and it is not made for starting. So it's strictly. Slow, slow drain battery. Uh, 16 amp per hour is at 3.2 amp discharge. So, I'm going to get a set up here and we'll run her down. She's, he brought it said it was all just charged. So, I'll get set up and we'll run it down and see how it actually does. Okay, getting things set up here. Looks like them are brass. Not sure what size they are. I'm sure they're metric. They're smaller than a quarter inch. I'm just putting some lugs on here so I got something to grip a little better with these. Just gonna use these because this isn't a, a high high load. Test so okay. So I've got a 40 watt bulb hooked up to the inverter, and it is 3:30, and we're going to turn around. This test is going to be just about right. We're at uh, three and a half amps, approximately. Oh yeah, I went up and found one of my antique big old meters again because they're nice and easy to see on the on the camera. Besides that, they're accurate, and it weighs more than this battery does. So I'm going to let her go and uh, fill you in every once in a while. Oh yeah, let's see what the battery voltage is. I just Gonna do that, and I didn't. Now let's see. We'll just precariously hang it on there. Okay, 12.98. Yeah, it's 4:30, so we've been an hour. <clears throat> We're still at three and a half amps and 12.9 volts. We're at the two-hour mark. <clears throat> 
it's up to 3.6 now and 2.81 three hours looks like we're at 3.8 now 12.7 we're at the four hour mark still 3.8 and we're now at 12.34 volts I come back to check at 8:30, and everything is shut down so apparently it died sometime after four hours. I'm going to charge it again and uh, give it another try. Okay, got a fresh charge in there. Gonna do her again, see if I can figure out exactly how long it does last. So we're at yeah, about 3.5 and 13.5. Three. Okay, so my first test, I started at 3.30 and I come out at 8.30 and it already shut down. So I didn't get to see when it shut down. But the amount that we got was 14.7 ampere hours. The second time I did it, I started at 11.10 and it quit at 341 and I was there to see it so this is the ampers, amps and hours and it come out to 16.9 so that's a 16 ampere hour battery so we did good and I, I understand this isn't precision but if I figure it went the same time past this one if I put this 2.1 add to this comes out to 16.8 so putting their identical test results under my test conditions so I want to do one more test and I'm going to double the, the load or well I got a I got that bigger light bulb in there I think it's going to be around 8 amps so it should go for couple hours at that so let's give it a try at a, at a heavier load and I'm going to start at 1240 it is so here we go yep just a whisker over 8 8.2 Keep you filled in on the results. Okay, we're at the one hour mark, and I'd say we're at uh, 8.4 amps now, 12.6 volts. Okay, I think we're coming in home stretch. We're getting a blink on the inverter, and this just jumped up like in the last 30 seconds. So it was pretty much at 8.6, and then it the inverter is down to 10.2 according to that meter, but 10.6 on the fluke. And we're like two minutes shy of being two hours. So there you go. So let me do some figuring here and we'll see what we come up with. So we started out drawing 8.3 amps and it ran for an hour and it went up to 8.4 so I averaged that hour to 8.3 and then we went from 8.4 to 8.6 for the next hour minus two minutes that's close enough for me so I averaged that at 8.5 so if you add the 8.5 and 8.3 you come up with 16.8 which is almost identical to my other two tests so I would say that this battery is what it says 16 ampere hours and that's the, the third test with my 
caveman style test, but I think it's within the ballpark, so I guess if anybody's interested in looking into one of these batteries, you're probably not going to be hurt much. Seems to me like it does what they say, so if you enjoyed this, uh, give me a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. But thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.